1,000. Your mistake. I'll show you guys later. I'll tell you the story of what happened to the Hellcat too. I gotta put gas, go home, and then go to sleep, shower, eat, and go to work again. Fuck my life. So this is what I ended up buying. Corolla XRS. Little things it has. Uh, missing a spat. I'll get that later. Uh, paint is fading in the roof. A couple of paint peeling off here. And yeah, it's a 2ZZ. Um, it came with a PFC. Show you a little. Uh, let me open it up real quick. There it is. Came with the uh, air to fuel ratio. Uh, AM uh, short shifter um, what else it came came with the PFC you can see it over there but I'm gonna rock, rock the stock ECU for now seats are decent uh, so yeah that's the glove box that I had to take off to do the PFC stock ECU. So yeah, has a couple little mods here and there. Um, it did come with a PP intake, um, but since I went stock ECU, I had to put um, I had to put this for now, just making sure it ran fine. I'm gonna get a filter. I already bought. A DC intake for it. I'm just waiting it for it to arrive. Um, it did have a misfire. Mark came over here and helped me out. Swap the injectors and the coils. I know the coil one of them was cracked on cylinder two. He replaced it. Um, this one's gonna get replaced because it's a uh, aftermarket. I want OEM stuff. Same thing with the MAF sensor. I used to have a MAF sensor that was aftermarket. We put an OEM. It has coilovers. Um, GIC Magic, supposedly that's what they are. Never heard of them, not that great. Um, but it is lowered, so that's a good thing. Um, and also has PP headers, so yeah. Paid a, I think I paid pretty good money for this. Uh, pretty cheap so yeah has these little details it has brand new tires that's a good thing just missing the spat and before i tell you guys it's missing the uh, xrx strut bar but i'm not too fond of it right now but i'll show you the intake right now part of it so this is the ppe intake it's a three inch compared to what's supposed to come out Stock. yeah as soon as it comes then take out swap it out and i'll daily this car now so there it is turned it on other things it has the airbag light is on and the tire sensors are light is on um i think the sensors it doesn't have no sensors because this car used to have RPF ones and he swapped them to the stock ones. So I'm not sure if those stock ones still have the sensors or they went with the RPF ones. So not a big thing. Um, as long as I keep the tire pressure good, just I'm just gonna have the light. Maybe later I'll, you know, put the sensors, but it's not a big thing right now. So I do wanna check out the airbag and see what code it has but I don't have a scanner for that. So that might have to wait. Forgot to tell you how much I got it for. Uh, I was asking 38, I dropped it down to three because of the misfire, the stuff that needed work on it. Um, and has 187,000 miles, I think. So yeah, motor's healthy. I did a compression. You're like at 190, 190, 180. 
yep so it's gonna be my new daily and then since i carpool with people and i've been taking the hellcat so I'd rather stick with the toyota 2zz save on gas and it's very reliable i know it inside and out at least the motor transmissions about the same thing you know the rest is just body so see how it goes